Chicago, 28. She's a Pisces. She has one son. She's a CNA. She wipes ass. All right, Sandy, let's get into it. What kind of man you looking for? I got me a list, baby. You got a list, Sandy. Let's get to it. Okay, I need him to be generous, kind, a man of his word, a back but fun, no high head, financially stable, stable, loyal, handsome, of course, family oriented, a gentleman, smart, uh, open minded, knows how to please a woman, like know how to eat coochie. Yeah. Good, good. Okay, that's that. All right. I think, I think to most women, they would probably think her list was realistic, if I'm honest. I think most women would think this list was honestly realistic. He's honest, he's generous, he's this, that, and the other. And we haven't even gotten to the physical requirements, other than the fact that he needs to know how to eat the box. Black women. We are out of order. We are the only group of women that prioritizes sexual pleasure and physicality to the degree that we do. She has this magical list of this man is just, I mean, this man is superhuman. He's kind, he's sweet, he's a gentleman, he's financially stable, he's this, that, and the other. Plus, he probably looks good and he's, he's uh, uh, on demon time in the bedroom. And this is the thing, modern women, we will make these lists that we desire, that society has told us that we want, that our girlfriends, that the TV shows we watch, and really our own foolish understanding will say, this is what we want from a man. But never do we stop and say, is this what I need from a man? Is this who God designed me for? I rarely hear anybody talk like that. And whether you believe in God or not, that makes no difference to me. You still were designed for a purpose. And rarely do they talk about anything other than what they want, but never can they articulate what they actually bring that is of value to a man. And I want you to listen, it's just woman's talking about he needs to know how to eat the box. Okay, I just hope I can get through this. Man, they don't know what they're doing these days. I, I might have to teach, teach them because that, I go both. But I'm looking for a man to that. Um... <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so she's looking for a man with all these characteristics. He knows how to eat the box. And I see this as a priority for her because she's saying she goes both ways. And today, though, she's just looking for a man. And she thinks this is funny. This is cute. You know what? If, if that's what your choice is, I mean, just get what comes your direction. I don't know why she's on a dating show looking for a good man with all these moral family oriented, but at any moment she can go be with a woman because he don't know how to eat the box right. Why would any man want to wife her? Now somebody may look to her for a good time to knock it down because that's just a man's nature. But nobody's going to stay. Nobody's going to put up. This may be a Pookie and a Ray Ray. Somebody she don't really want. Ah. Anyway, Kendra. Um, yeah, know how to please a woman. Um, mentally, physically, financially. All those good things. Good hygiene. Um, very understanding. Knows how to dress tall. I'm fat feet. I know, I know I'm short, but I like them tall, tall. Like, oh, five, seven or tall. Very thick. A good listener. Knows exactly what he wants and dark skin. <laughs> Bitch, that nigga only exists in your dreams. <laughs> I dream about him every day, too. <laughs> okay, he may be white. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Can he have other girls? No. Okay. I shout out to Kendra G for getting this one right. Her reaction was was right. I'm so thankful that Kendra didn't amen this or like, girl, you can get what you want. You right, you know, your list is realistic. And it's not. And the fact even Kendra's like, well, can he have other women? Because this sounds like the perfect man. 
the perfect man that a lot of women would want. Why would he want her? Honestly, with her attitude, with her list of demands. She wants this high character moral man and she honestly sounds for the streets. Like the delusion is beyond level 1000. And this is what I mean. People may get mad at me and say, well, why are you going in on black women? I'm not going in on black women. I'm trying to save us. I'm trying to help us. I'm trying to help us come out of what feminism has done to us, this wild hyena attitude, and to show us this is why our community is in the dire state that it is. We have no community anymore because of selfishness, narcissism. Look at this. Look at her face right now. Can he have other women? Because a man like that, I mean, he's going to have his pick of the litter. Why would he come get her? What does she bring to the table? What does she offer other than all these requirements? Oh, and by the way, she may actually leave you for another woman if you can't get the box right today. Yeah, yeah, since that face is right. That this should be the thumbnail. You want him? You better, child. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you gotta right. have all that, and you're the only girl. Yep. So okay, a couple things. Okay, generous. What does generous mean to you? That was the first thing on your list. Um, you know, just generous. Always giving, like you know, not stingy at all. If okay. I ask for it, he give it. Okay, so um, he has to have money, obviously. Of course. Who want a broke nigga, Kendra? <laughs> Do want a broke nigga? No, a broke nigga. That ain't him right now. That's not what's popping right now. Does she want a broke ninja? Look at this woman, how she speaks. Look at her vocabulary in public. Look at how she's talking. Now he has to have money too. Where is this unicorn? Where is this magical man? And this is the issue. I can almost guarantee, guarantee she has never met a man like this. Men who are on that level have never even approached. They wouldn't even look at her. They wouldn't even look. She wouldn't even exist to them. It's, a, it's delusional to think that this is okay. But if a man, let me just say this, if a man came on to a dating show and had this list for women, plus she needs to know how to suck duck real good. Oh, and he, he goes both ways. So he could, you know, today he's looking for a woman who can suck duck real good. But, you know, at any moment, it could be a dude who can suck duck. That's what we're asking men. That's what modern women are asking men to accept. I mean, this woman's on demon time. She needs to be delivered. And any woman thinking like this, you're going to end up alone. You're going to end up miserable. And you're going to end up wondering why nothing ever works for you. But she is out of order. She is nothing but chaos and destruction, this woman right here. And it's sad. Um, is, there a, is, is there a dollar amount he must make? Do you have that? Um... No, not a dollar amount. Just you know, stay. Okay. Could he have? Okay. Could he have kids? Um. Yeah, he can have kids. No more than two, though. He can have two kids. Okay. Did he? Have, does he have to be in Chicago? No. No. Okay. Was loyalty on your list? Yes, loyalty was on your list. Okay. Have you ever dated a man that has all these qualities? Oh, um, never. Ne <laughs> never. But you are sure he's alive. So <laughs> I, know, right. I, know, I know he is. They said somebody out there for everybody. That's a lie, though. That is actually have, not true. I don't got to have every single thing on the list. But, you know, majority. That would be nice. I want to say this. You know that's a lie that there's somebody out there for everybody. There's people that never end up with people. You know that, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, just FYI. Um, listen, you got the right to your desires, girl. But that list... You said he got not to eat coochie. Or you could teach him. Yeah, I could teach him if, you know, he don't know. So would you give him a a, 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 a live instruction with another woman? Uh, yeah, I can. I can. He can join. I can show, yeah, teach him how to do how, you know. 
And I don't know if I played this part, but this woman has a 10 year old son. So this is who's raising our black boys, women like this. And y'all can say, oh, she's just, no. These live shows are proven over and over. The results in the black community, the results for black women are showing over and over. You may not have all those mindsets. I may not have all the mindsets of her, but I definitely uh, have seen and know for sure that this type of delusion on varying levels exists in our community. And it's why we're at the bottom as black women. It's why black men don't want to get married because they're seeing women like this. This city girl, live how I want, do whatever I want, bring nothing to the table, on demon time with my attitude, my lifestyle, and everything about me. Raising kids in some chaotic mess, don't know if I like men or women, all over the place, but claiming you want a man. And then have any sexual requirements, physical requirements. Who is, I mean, and this is the thing, a woman like this will say, like she said, there's someone for everyone. And I appreciate Kendra G for actually coming to her correct and saying, no, ma'am, you're living in delusion. That's a lie. There isn't someone for everyone. Plenty of women die alone. Plenty of people, men and women, die alone. But how do we change the narrative in the black community? How do we make a change for black women if we keep allowing attitudes and voices like this to be dominant? And right now, they're dominant. They're dominant. And black women, we will continue to lose if we do not fight against this narrative, if we do not make changes. We are at the bottom of the dating pole. We're bottom. Black men are number two. We are at the bottom. We're the least likely to get married. People want to marry us the least. Men don't want us. And they keep thinking that, you think, well, it's black men and, and, and Brad and, and some white dude or Hispanic or whatever dude is going to come save us. Those men are not, uh, the races are not coming in in droves to marry black women. Anything like that is anecdotal. This isn't in mass. Our best hope for being married is black men. And honestly, I'm an advocate of that because I wanna see the black community come out of these horrible statistics that we have. And I appreciate Kendra G for saying something, but that's it for this video. I can't take no more of this woman. I think she needs, uh, she needs Jesus. She needs repentance. She needs a psychologist. She needs therapy. And honestly, she needs to look back at this video and say, wow, look at the things I'm saying. Look at the delusion. And she would rather hold on to something like this than actually get with a good man rather than change, rather than uh, examine herself. She'd rather hold on to this and die alone or, or, or just go off with a woman because it, it seems she seems very confused. She'd rather do that than change and look at herself. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's it for this reaction. This was some craziness. Make sure you subscribe to me here on YouTube and also follow me on Instagram, Melanie King Official, and I will see you guys in the next one.